Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Steve with the Man of Burn. Uh, welcome to tonight's stream. Tonight we were we are going to be uh, opening some Strixhaven and some Commander Legends for our uh, patrons. So, um, I have updated the website, so please check out the website, uh, themanaburn.com. You can check that out. Let me see if I can send that here. Hey, what's up, Mark? All right, so that command is not working for whatever reason. Ah, uh, it was working earlier today. That's interesting. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Just took a second. So I've got um, all of the Strixhaven uh, mythics, uh, rares, and all of the mystical archives up on the website currently. I also have my uh, Commander Legends mythics and rares up on the website as well. Uh, I'll be working on getting the commons and uncommons uh, set up over the weekend, so hopefully we have a lot more cards on the website uh, by Monday, Tuesday next week. And then I'll be working my way back, so Call Dime and then uh, Zendikar Rising will also be up there as well. So I'm really excited about that, so please uh, stop by, check out the website for me. Hey, what's up, Dean? Um, welcome. So I've got the link to the website up here uh, as well. We have, I'll be putting in the link here for the Discord and stuff like that as we go along uh, throughout the night. But uh, we're going to do, we've got one bundle, one regular booster box, one set booster box, and one collector booster box from Strixhaven. And then we also have two Commander Legends booster boxes as well to open tonight. The Commander Legend boxes are for the patrons. So I'm thinking about just going in order of, you know, um, let's go with the bundle, let's go with the regular, the set, the collector, and then the uh, regular, um, and, or and then the Commander Legends uh, booster boxes for the patrons to end uh, to end the night. So I uh, made a couple of changes on the, uh, as far as the setup goes, so hopefully we don't have as many issues with the... Um, with the streaming and stuff like that tonight as far as the focus and things of that nature are concerned. Uh, let's see. Yep, I put a notice in the Discord, but it looks like uh, there's nobody here yet. But we're going to be opening the bundle first, which is for Mason. Um, he wanted to make sure we were going on tonight at 9. But uh, So I'm not going to wait around. I'm not going to waste uh, everybody's time while we're waiting here. So we're just going to go ahead and open this bundle here for Mason. And, you know, I guess he can jump in and see what goodies he gets a little bit later. I was hoping that we'd get some uh, some folks in here a little bit earlier. But, oh, well. Right? Mark, Dean, that's all we need. Uh-oh. So the new dice from uh, from this set is here. It's not that bad. The old, uh, the die from the last set was like all like, uh, very, I don't know. It was just shitty. It was like very, uh, I don't know. It just didn't seem right. Very weak, very just not good. So this one's like the older ones, um, ooh, from like Zendikar Rising and the other sets. Let's give her to this. So we get our pack of lands, and then you also get your foil arc mage, um, ugh, whatever his name is, Aremitus, whatever. Whenever you cast uh, or copy an instant or sorcery spell, draw a card. It's actually a really good card, um, especially with this set where copying and everything is a huge, huge concern or um, ability. So let's go ahead and let's get this bundle cracked. Hey, Mark, uh, are you are you currently logged into Discord, or do you have the ability to log into the Discord by chance? We're not going to go through any of the commons. There's only one common that's worth anything, and it's uh, Dragon Arch something or other. Um, and we're not going to spend a ton of time on the uncommons either. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sure that was attractive to watch. All right, but we have Killin Ink Duelist, a Plum the Forbidden, Lorehold Excavation, and a Radiant Scroll Wielder. Cool. Hey, Mark, I don't know if you can, but can you send a message to, um, oh, I'm trying to find his name in the Discord right now. Uh, I just know his real name. Uh-oh. Grey Hunter 11 
and let him know that we're going to be opening his boxes. His name's Lance. But our first rare out of the, uh, just let him know I'm going to be opening his boxes here in a couple of minutes. So we have Radiant Scroll Wielder is our rare for the pack. And Thrill of Possibility. Cool. And a Foil Pigment Storm with a treasure token. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Let's see. Pack two. Also, we do have packs is still available. Um, thank you, Mark, for doing that. Uh, we, we do have packs still available to buy. If you're interested in purchasing any uh, loose packs, just check out the store there. And uh, let me know what you're looking for. Send me a, a message here in uh, Twitch or a DM through the Discord. Let me know if you do DM me in Discord. So we have Confront the Past Rare, a Bookworm Uncommon, Test of Talents Uncommon, and a Mortality Spear Uncommon. This is actually a pretty decent one. And our rare Torrent Sculptor. Nice. And this Torrent Sculptor flips over to Flamethrower Sonata. Not a bad little rare either. All the flip ones are pretty good. And then a Village Rites with a Fractal Token. All right. We actually got some decent... Uh, I opened one of these for myself off stream, and I got a couple of decent uh, Mythics in there, so hopefully we can get the same here from uh, for Mason. All right. Our first card is going to be a Mascot Interception. Fracture, another really good um, uncommon. Go Blank. And a rare mythic, Culmination of Studies. So I'll leave these up here for a second just so you guys can read them. But, ooh, an Electrolyzed Rare uh, Mystical Archive. Very nice. And a Trash Card. Got a few more packs here for this uh, bundle. Hey, Mark, thanks for sending that through for me, sir. I do appreciate it. Uh, let me pull up this other screen. Just so I can send out... Uh, when we're going to do a giveaway, right? Let's see. We've got a containment breach, if it wants to focus on it. Yeah, there we go. An academic dispute. Maelstrom Muse with a Strixhaven Stadium is our rare. And a Defiant Strike. Boom, with a Prismari, Prismari Command foil. Very nice. That's actually a really nice foil. As far as... Uh, cost and expense goes so i've got i've had a little bit of feedback some folks told me that i should go through and do the uh, and like have the cards separated in piles but when i have them separated in piles like the uncommons commons the camera seems to have a little bit more of a hard time focusing whenever i've got the cards a little closer because it's trying to also focus on the cards on the play mat so uh we're going to stick with this way for now we have an ingenious inspiration a brackish trudge deadly brew and then our rare mythic is going to be a conspiracy theorist. Our mystical archive, eliminate. And a blank token card. Which I know, Dean, you were looking for. So we will uh, definitely keep those to the side if I pull them out of my own boxes or anything like that. So, all right. Oh, we got a foil in this one. We have a practical research uncommon. Storm Kiln Artist, another decent uncommon. Wither Bloom Apprentice. And our rare mythic is going to be, come on. Ulrich Lore Mage. Nice. And then we have a Grape Shot as our Mystical Archive with a Star Pupil Foil. Four packs left for Mason's uh, bundle here. I've also been debating on whether or not to change the nights and also start a little earlier. Um, I'm going to put the poll out to the uh, to the Discord and see what they think. Maybe start at 8 p.m. instead of 9 p.m. And maybe we also do it on uh, maybe a Thursday instead of uh, Friday nights. Hey, what's up, Mason? We're halfway through your bundle here. I'll go through and show you a couple of the highlights here after we're done. Up, oh, come on. You can do this. We had no problems focusing. Come on, camera. We've been doing so well for so for so many packs. All right, Rutha is our un first uncommon with an orator, a bookworm, and our mythic rare, a devastating mastery. Very nice. And a thrill of possibility. Cool. Let 
You're bad luck. Why why do you say you're bad luck? You mean because of the camera? Uh it was funny because the other day it was perfect all the way up until like the last like, you know, 20 packs or so. But all right, we have a Kelpie guide on common. Closing statement. A dueling coach in our mythic or rare is going to be tempted by Ulrich. Not a bad card. Not bad at all. With it in Fury, Mystical Archive, and a Spirit Token. All right, we got two packs left for you, Mason. Uh, your best card so far, I'm going to tell you, is the Foil Prismari Command. Uh, unfortunately, we have not hit a Mythic yet, but maybe we can hit one in one of these next couple of packs here. I'm hoping we get something good for you, bud. All right. We have an Ardent Dusks. Oh. Why does it do this? Why does the camera keep doing this? Does anybody know anything about cameras? And can they explain to me why it's in the exact same place it was a second ago and now it's not focused, though? All right, we have an Ardent Dusk Speaker, a Quandrix Apprentice, a Mentor's Guidance, and a Mythic Belladros Wither Bloom. Well, I guess if you're only going to get one Mythic out of it, it's awesome to get the best Mythic, right? Wow, nice hit, man. Beautiful. And a Tainted Pack! What a pack! Holy crap! I'm not even going to... Okay, a sudden... Whatever. Woo! Man, if somebody could clip that and send it to Twitter for me, that'd be great. I know you can't, but, you know, look at that. One pack. Well, Mason, I'd say you got your money back already. And you made some, buddy. That is gross. Oh, so good. So good. Doesn't even matter what we open now, right? All right. We have a Humiliate. Another good uncommon. Grinning Ignis. A Silver Quill Apprentice. And Archmage. All right. So we get uh, the non-foil version of the, uh, of the standard pack card in there. And then we get our last one is a regrowth. That's a that's a good little card. And a treasure token. Wow, Mason, man. Oof. How about I just send you all the other cards and I hold on to these two for you since you're bad luck, you know? Whoa, what? That is awesome. And I do have your other cards, Alex. I've got your Urza, Lord High Artifi Ar Artificer and everything else. So uh, we will talk. And, uh, you know, figure out what exactly I, you want me to send over to you. But we will get these shipped out uh, in the next day or so. But awesome, man. That was, that was sick. So good. All right. Now we're up for... Um, now it's time for our regular booster box, which is being opened for Lance. So let me move these out of the way so we don't uh, get anything mixed up here. Wow, that's a hell of a start. Let's get going, man. Let's get some more going here. Woo. Hey, what's up, Alex? How are you, buddy? All right, so we've got our regular booster box here. I'm just going to take all these packs out. We're going to save some room on the table here. Uh-oh, almost threw the box away with one left in it. That wouldn't have been good. All right, so I'm doing pretty well, Alex. This is awesome. I uh, we got some good hits so far. We got um, the best elder dragon, the green black one there for Mason. We also got him a tainted pact from the uh, mystical archives. So so far, you know, we're definitely not complaining, but we're definitely not complaining. All right. We've got. I'm not gonna read every single long comment, guys. I think that we all kind of. Uh, have seen the sets, you know, and stuff. So I'm just going to go through. I'll show them each on, on screen real quick. But then I'm just going to go through and, and let's look at the mythics and mysticals, okay? Boom. And the rares as well. Blade Historian. Not a bad card. Your attack creatures have double strike. Nice. With a D spark. All right. I'm going to try this setup with having everything on the screen here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we, we, we won't have the commons on here, but this gives us enough room to actually have the uh, the foils and the mythics above these. 
Let me know what you guys think, and good luck, Lance. Hey, what's up? There he is. He's here. He's made it. Again, I'm not going to read all the uncommons. I'm just going to kind of go through them. Come on. Focus for me. Be a good girl. Come on, girl. This was working just fine a second ago. It keeps on doing this. It keeps on doing this back and forth. I have no idea what to do about this. I could set the... So I can set the... Um, the camera to just focus on one specific thing, but then it makes it look really bad for the rest of the screen. Uh, this is your um, your draft booster box. We're going to open your set box afterwards, uh, Lance, and then we're going to do a collector box, and then we're going to be doing our Commander Legends as well. And I still have loose packs available if you check out the website. I put the link above. I don't know if you can still see it. So I've got some um, some packs still left on there for sale as well. And, um, boom, come on. All right, maybe it's the card. Let's try our next card. Maybe it'll work for this one. Do you think it's the background is too busy trying to focus on the stuff on bottom? What do, what do you guys think? How do we, all right, hold on. Let me see something here. No, even with that stuff covered up, it doesn't really do any difference. I have no idea what's going on. $100, $120 dollars freaking camera. Logitech C922X. I don't know if this is good or bad for them, but jeez. Focus. Autofocus. Come on, camera. Let's go. It's a Maelstrom Muse, but I don't want to go to the rare or the mythic without figuring this one out first. Jeez. All right, this is starting to really uh, annoy me. Come on. Anybody know how to fix this? Yeah, I, I didn't do anything. I don't know how, how this happens to me. Alright, so we're going to leave all the cards off camera. I think that's got to be the only issue. And look, right away. Alright, so it's got to be the cards in the background. I've got to, alright, so I've got to work on that for the next video. Okay, Maelstrom Muse. And then, our rare is a Pestilent Cauldron. Which flips over to the Restorative Burst. Alright, not a bad rare. With Village Rights as our Mystical Archive and then our Token. Alright, so I guess we're just going to leave the cameras off, or we're going to leave the cards off, off camera so that there's no issues with the uh, autofocus because we don't want to spend an hour and a half trying to get that to work and then an hour and a half opening cards. And Storm Kiln Artist, good uncommon. The Transformation. Plum the Forbidden with a Cody Vor... Vo Vociferous Codex. It's a word that you might say, but you never really have to spell. Regrowth, very good. And a token card. All right. I agree with Dean. Regrowth is one of the, is a very underrated card. I mean, it gets any card from your graveyard to your hand. It's only two mana. I mean, if it was instant speed, I guess it would be uh, just amazing. But all right, so we have Eye Witch, Explosive Welcome, Demogoth, Woe Eater, and Plarg, Dean of Chaos, with an Opt, great card. And we have a foil, exhilarating uh, elocution. Okay. This is actually my uh, only our second regular draft box opened. So, I don't know. I, I like them. I like that you don't have uh, 300 variants of, of stuff going on as well. It's a lot cleaner. But still, yeah, I like it. All right. Tenured Ink Caster. Team Pennant. Quintorius Field Historian. Boom. And a full art. It's not it's not foil, but it's a full art. Rowan. Will, Scholar of Frost. What a beautiful card. Beautiful mythic right there. A mana tithe rare. Actually, that's a hell of a pack. Hell of a pack right there. Not the best pack we've seen tonight. I think that's going to stick with Alex for a while because that was just some... Uh, a Belladross and Tainted Pack in the same pack was just ridiculous, but that's still good. We have a Containment Breach. 
Silver Quill Apprentice. Come on. Stop trying to focus on Rowan. Alright, let's move Rowan off to the side. I hate that I have to do this. Once we get up to about 10, 12 viewers, I'll also do a giveaway. I think we're at about 6 or 7 right now. So, if we get some more folks in here, that'd be great. If you guys haven't seen my tweet or if you don't follow me, please uh, check that out. Follow me. It's the Mana Burn. Uh, or at the Mana Burn, I guess, is how that works. I don't know. All right, let's try a different card here. Tend the Pests with a Silver Quill Command. Nice. And a Negate with a Trash Card. Okay. I'm not going in any real order like, you know, pat or, you know, uh, stack one, stack two, stack three. I'm just kind of, I got them all pulled up here, so there's no real rhyme or reason, so. All right. We may end up getting a few packs in a row. Okay, so this camera is just shit. I mean, that's all I could think of is the autofocus is just shit on this camera. Hall monitor. Master symmetrist. Spell Satchel with Double Major. I think this is probably one of the most underrated rares in this set. Uh, but what do I know? I think it's a great card. Divine Gambit. And a Foil Combat Professor. We'll put that over there with the other foil. Don't worry, uh, Lance. You know, you and I will talk beforehand. Figure out exactly what all you want to get shipped. And we will get it all shipped to you. If you want everything, we'll figure that out as well. All right. So we have a rare. So you could get a rare um, card every now and again before you get to your uncommons when it's a lesson. Because the last card before your uncommons is always a lesson card. So you could end up with a pack with four uncommons or uh, a rare, three uncommons, and then a rare again. So, All right. Illuminate History is our lesson card there. Fracture. Very good uncommon. Kelpie Guide, Aether Helix, and a Fury Calm Snarl. Again, I think these are very underrated. Uh, I think these lands are extremely underrated. But, again, that's just me. And a Duress. Very nice. Very, very nice so far. So, we only had one Mythic hit so far, but it is a really, really good one. Got a couple of good other cards as well along the way. So no complaints. We have a Grinning Ignis. A Zamone Quandrix Prodigy. Shadowwing Laureate. And a Strict Proctor. So Strict Proctor is, is awesome. Um, I think this is a great card, especially when you're playing you know EDH against a lot of the uh, Landfall decks or Trigger decks. Uh, your, uh, what is it, Yurik and all that stuff, so, good card. And a Snakeskin Veil, with an Elemental Token. Pull two Tutors, yeah, I know, if that, if I could do that for you, man, that'd be great. I am hoping to pull a Tutor, and I am not gonna lie, I'm hoping that it is in the, uh, Collector Box, and the Set Box, where, uh, well, the Collector Box, we have the chance for the Japanese foil version, so I'm be really happy with that. We have a Go Blank. Wormhole Serpent, Divide by Zero, and Culmination of Studies is our rare. Nice. And a Mind's Desire Mythic. Huh. Nice. That's Storm. The fact that it's got Storm on it is, is makes it makes it even sicker. I uh that's actually one I don't think I have pulled yet. Um out of I've only opened a couple of set boxes for, for the store. Um, but, yeah, still very nice. All right, we have an Umbral Jake, Juke, sorry. Never thought I'd see the word Juke on a card, but okay. Next, we have a not wanting to focus. Focus. Come on, there we go. Bookworm. Quandrix Cultivator. And Torrent Sculptor. Which flips into the Flamethrower Sonata. And then we have a Strategic Planning. Nice, nice. Alright, let's go. 
probably about halfway through the box right now as well. So, all right, we have a Mage Hunter, Reflective Golem, oh, Ingenious Inspiration, and a Shalai Dean of Radiance, which then flips over to Embros, Dean of Shadow. Again, I think this is a pretty good one as well. Be better if it was uh, like an angel or something instead of a bird. You could do tribal with it, but that's all right. With an ephemerate rare and an umbral juke common, uh, uncommon foil. Oof. Come on, let's go, let's go. We want some goodness. Come on. What do you guys think? Should I just bypass all the uncommons as well, or should I keep on reading those off? All right, solve the equation. Oh, there we go. So for three, you can get any instant or sorcery and put it in your hand. It's so good. If it was, this is a great card. Quandrix Apprentice. Reconstruct History. With a Baleful Mastery. I mean, two mana to exile a creature or a planeswalker. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then a Revitalize. Yeah, I kind of like going through the uncommons as well, Lance. So I think, or, uh, yeah, Lance. So I think I will keep doing that. So it looks like we're up to about seven viewers here. If we can get up to ten viewers, I will, uh, like I said, I will do a pull from the burn pile. And in the burn pile, we have a lot of great cards. We've got a mana drain in there. Um, and a lot of other cards. They, you know, range in up to $10 worth of value. So let's get some more folks in here. We can get this happening. Explosive Welcome, Master Symmetrist, Aether Helix, let's go with a Mythic, come on, nope, Callous Blood Mage, not a bad card, with a Stone Rain, not sure why this is a rare uh, in any type of set at all, but still, it's not a bad card, and we have a blank token here. Alright, let's see. Hopefully everybody's feeling good tonight, enjoying the uh, beautiful weather we're having out now. Thunderous Orator, up, oh. Academic Dispute, come on, come on, you want to focus, I know you want to focus on this, I know you do, I know you care. No, you don't care. And now do you care? You still don't care. See, apparently my camera hasn't gotten the message. In order for me to get people to watch the videos and enjoy these, that it needs to focus. Um, and apparently it just doesn't care. I'm going to have to have a talk with this thing whenever we're all done. This is getting nuts. I'm getting super annoyed. Does it need a little bit more light? Is it the card? What is it? I wish... I just wish somebody could explain it to me. Uh, let me push these off to the side and make sure there's nothing on camera at all that I could try to pull from. Maybe what I'll do is I'll get like a blank mat as well for, for the next video and see if that does anything. Focus, you piece of shit. Brand new, not even a week old this camera. I have no idea what I what I what I can do or what I'm supposed to do here. Let me just cover the camera real quick and then see what happens here. Nope. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to flip the mat over or something. Because this is absolutely fucking stupid. I can say that on Twitch, right? Oh, there it is. Ingenious Inspiration. There we go. And then, a Blot Out the Sky Mythic. Beautiful. Keep that off to the side. And a Claim the Firstborn on Common. Um, Mystical Archive. Nice. 
yeah, I ordered this thing off of Amazon. I mean, it got here, everything, you know, like whenever I'm doing testing and stuff, it seems to never have any issues. And then when we go live, and it's it seems like it's only at certain times after various cards, for whatever reason. Uh, Witherbloom Apprentice. Explosive Iteration. Dramatic Finale. Nice. Great for token decks. Boom, and Mizzix Mastery. Another one of those great cards if you're uh, playing anything with copy abilities and effects. I mean, it's just awesome. Awesome Mythic hit right there. I mean, as far as price goes, I don't know. I don't think it's worth a ton, but I think it's still just an awesome card. An awesome card. If you watch that episode of Game Nights where that guy Josh used it, I mean, he just went nuts. Oh, good. I can say whatever I want. Awesome. Thank you, Mason, for letting me know. Practical research. I can finally be myself and not have to worry. Lee Hol Lorehold Apprentice. Elite Spellbinder. With a Lightning Helix. Alright, cool. And a token. It's like using a driver on the practice range. Perfect until you get on the course. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, except for me, I mean, you and I have played golf together, and you just know I can't even use a driver at all. I always use a wood off the tees. Brackish Trudge. Closing Statement. A Quandrix Apprentice. And boom! Harness Infinity is our next Mythic. Nice. Mythic hit. Whirlwind Denial is our uh, Mystical Archive. Ah, with a Battle Seer Foil. Okay, come on. We still have yet to see the rare, uh, a foil rare, mythic rare, or a mythic foil or whatever. We're still waiting on a mystical archive foil. I don't know. Do you get one of those in these boxes or not? I'm not 100% sure. You usually get at least one foil mystical archive in the set box. And like I said, we're going to be doing that next. Kelpie Guide. Zephyr Boots. Returned Past Caller. Sparring Regimen as our rare. We have an Uncommon Strategic Planning. Alright. So there's usually one foil. Alright, cool. I'm hoping that that's going to be a big hit. We need, uh, we need something big here. Alright, so we've got a Necrotic Fumes. Lorehold Excavation. A Deadly Brew. A Fury Calm Snarl. I have a... F Isn't that the same one? We yeah, that's the same land we got earlier. Interesting. Compulsive Research. These I understand getting commons on. Or repeats. And a Study Break. Oops. Almost put that in the wrong pile. I understand getting repeats for the Mystical Archive cards. Because there's just not that many of them. But... Duplication in the uh, in the in the rare slot, eh, not so sure you should be getting that. All right, we have an honor troll. Not bad. It's a four four basically, with vigilance in commander. Dina soul steeper. Professor of symbiology. Valentine, dean of the vein. Again, this is a card that is not that expensive, but I think is just a really good card. I mean, awesome for if you want to make him your general. And a Doom Blade. Nice. Alright, we got about 10 packs, 12 packs left in this here regular box. And then we're going to go and move over to our set booster. For Lance, uh, we have a Stonebinders Familiar. Mentor's Guidance, a Witherbloom Apprentice, and a rare is Hall of Oracles. Not a bad land. Uh, with an Infuriate on common and a Fractal Token. Alright. Come on. Let's get it. Come on. We want something spicy. Alright. Reduced to memory. Um, running out of room over here. These piles are getting a little big. I don't want to uh, start knocking 
stuff over. All right, we have access tunnel. Mortality spear. And a Strixhaven Stadium. That's a nice little rare as well. Cool. With a Whirlwind Denial. And another blank token. If you don't want those uh, blank tokens, uh, Lance, let me know. If I know somebody who does want them. And uh, I will could donate them to him. Alright, we have a Mascot Interception. Come on. Well, we did so well. We were doing so well for like six or seven packs. All right, what did I do wrong in between here? Hmm, very interesting. Card on border. Oh, maybe it's these. No, that'll make it worse, right? Yeah, as soon as I plopped those down, it was trying to focus on those. Okay. I see what we're doing. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Maybe that's what... Yep. Mascot Inception. Reflective Golem. Creative Outburst. And our rare mythic is going to be a Dream Strix. Nice. And a Defiant Strike Uncommon uh, Mystical Archive. <laughs> who did they? Uh, who did Minnesota pick in the first round yesterday? Oh, hey Lance, I decided to wear a shirt for you. Um, since we were doing yours today, I decided to go ahead and put on a uh, a shirt for you since I knew we'd be opening your uh, your boxes. And I knew you'd appreciate it. Yeah, I can burn it. <laughs> Mana burn it. <laughs> I figured I got to be able to troll somebody in the video, and uh, you're the lucky winner. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Lance is from, no, he's from Vegas. And so uh, the Caps obviously beat them in the uh, Stanley Cup Finals, so... All right, Brackish Trudge, Uncommon, Symmetry Sage, and Rip Apart, nice Uncommon. Dragon's Guard Elite as well, with an Adventurous Impulse, and a Rutha Artist. All right, Lance, I'll promise in the next video on Monday, I, I won't be, um, I, I won't wear anything Capitals related in Monday's video. Well, maybe the hat. I always have the hat on. But I might go with a different hat. We'll see. All right. Teachings of the Archaics. Oh, you want to focus on it. Come on. Do your thing. Go ahead. Okay, there we go. All right. Teachings of the Archaics. Rare lesson card. Then we have a Fortifying Drought. All right, let me move this stuff over. All right, I'm going to have to adjust this next time so that I can make sure we don't have anything in the way. Okay. Ardent Dust Speaker. Test of Talents. And a rare mythic, Shadow Shine Shadow Snarl. Yeah, we'll wear a Fuck Vegas Knight. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Uh, and then Thrill of Possibilities, and then an Elemental Token. For those of you who don't know, uh, Dino Surveys is actually my brother. He's uh, my older brother, we'll say, as well. Uh, let's see. Alright, we've got a Mentor's Guidance. Deadly Brew. Rutha. Mercurial Artist we just got. And then a Poet's Quill. These cards I think would be okay if it wasn't for the whole learn thing. Knock it down a mana. You know, wouldn't be too bad. Infuriate. And another blank token. Okay. Smarter, better looking. Eh, I'll give you the smarter part. But I do consider myself very pretty, so. Alright. We have a Detention Vortex, Zephyr Boots, K 
Reptilian Ink Duelist, and a rare Mythic Radiant Scroll Wielder with another Thrill of Possibilities. Okay. Pretty like a woman on your... Yeah. <laughs> hey, I... No, I don't... I was about to say, I think I've seen a pretty hooker, but that was in a movie. Um, <laughs> overgrown Arch. Necrotic Fumes. Tend the Pests. And a rare mythic. Ingenious Mastery. Nice. Agonizing Remorse. Mystical Archive. We only got like five packs left. Five or six packs left. We need to pick it up. Come on. I'm rooting for you, Lance. We need to hit something big here, man. Dealt with so many hookers in my last... Yeah, it's hard being a pimp, right? Uh, confront the Past. Ardent Dusk Speaker. Devouring Tendrils. Another access tunnel on common. I guess I should be looking at the camera to make sure it's focused before I just keep running through them, right? Hmm. I think after this box, I think I'm going to uh, put the video on pause real quick and flip the play mat and everything. But I just got to move all the cards out of the way that are currently on the play mat. So uh, after this video, bear with me for, you know, two minutes while I do that. Come on. Come on. Come on. I just want to test it out. See if uh, if the backing being all black or all whatever color. I don't care. Is, is going to help any. Because this is driving me nuts. It's like a steering wheel on my crotch. Alright. If you guys don't get that. You know. I'm here all week. Come on man. What the hell dude. Alright. Maybe I should just send this video to Logitech and just have them, you know, and be like, hey, can you guys uh, explain to me how, how this works? Up, oh, access tunnel. There we go. And a rare mythic. I, I, I think that's also one of the things I'm going to do, Mason, is just to do manual instead of autofocus. And that way, even if the stuff in the background is blurry, who gives a shit? At least the cards are always going to be on point. So we've got an ecological appreciation is our next, or yeah, uh, is our next mythic, and a sign in blood rare. Okay, not too bad. Uh, that goes over here. Yeah, the ecological appreciation is a good mythic. All right. So maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just log off, not log off, but I'll just. Yeah, I'll put everything on, um, and I'm just going to change the settings in my camera real quick uh, in between after this box, I, I should say. Come on. Yeah, this is really starting to piss me off. I mean, is it the lighting that's an issue, and that's why it's having an issue? I don't understand. I just don't get it. I don't get this, and I and I can understand, you know, if you guys don't want to watch and stop. You know what I mean? I understand. It's This is just as... This is really fucking annoying. Who'd you get? What was the quarter? A quarterback. Who? What quarterback was left that was worth grabbing in the second round? Because you see, like, all right. Oh, Kellen Mond. I forgot about the him. I think Kellen Mond will be all right. I just don't know if he's a second-round draft pick, to be honest. Took Pitts. Pitts is, I think, the uh, the most can't-miss prospect in the, in the draft. I mean, all right, guys, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here real quick. So bear with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix the settings real quick. Hold on.
All right, I'm back. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully, this is gonna just be fine. All right, we're gonna go with a go blank uncommon, lore hold apprentice, a Leona Leonin light scribe, dark ritual. That's actually one. Oh shoot. Okay, that's actually a great card. I like the artwork and everything. That's awesome. Ooh, and there we go. We got the Titan as our rare foil. Nice. That's actually a nice hit. Uh, I don't know how if it's worth a bunch or anything, but it's a great card in my opinion. All right, let me move my mouse off the screen here. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, yeah, my mic's back on. I know I turned it off there for a second. All right. We have a dueling coach. A symmetry sage. Professor of symbiology. Multiple choice. I like this card. Definitely helps you depending on whatever situation you're in. An adventurous impulse. With a tangle trap. Yeah, I think the Titans are... I think that's a great card too. Especially, I mean, you know, it's going to be played in, in um, green-black decks. So you're going to be able to have um, a lot of token generators and stuff like that. We have another Umbral Juke. An Honor Troll. Rip Apart. With another Snarl. Hey, this is the fourth land cycle you've gotten, so that's nice. And a Faithless Looting. The best card. Oh, my goodness. That is just weird. Anybody else agree that Faithless Looting, man? That, that thing will give you nightmares. Yeah, the dude in the dress, I don't, I, I mean, that's fine. That doesn't, it's, it's just, it looks weird. Show of confidence, mortality spear, shade wing laureate, an augmentor pugilist, and a defiant strike. All right. Already, this is, this is a lot better. Uh, as far as the camera goes and the focus and stuff like that. Uh... Should have just done this the other day. We have an eye twitch. An academic dispute. Golden ratio. And a baleful mastery. A very good rare. And a whirlwind denial. Alright, last pack of our regular uh, booster box. And then we're going to jump right into the set box. Not too bad. We're still under an hour. I wanted to try to keep these, you know, two to three hours long. Fortifying drought. Maelstrom Muse, Plum the Forbidden, boom, oh, last pack, it waited until the end, a Belladros Witherbloom, full art, that's the second full art mythic, woo, that this, that we've seen in this box alone, and a Duress, well, we didn't get a foil, um, Mystical Archive, that uh, I mean, yeah, I didn't miss any foil mystical archives in here. Wow, man, we ended on we ended on a bang though. So good. Belladros is still, I think, the most expensive uh, mythic out there, right? I mean, I think this is about twenty twenty two bucks. I mean, not for nothing. That pays for what at least twenty five percent of the box, right? So not bad at all. All right. So what we're gonna do is. Just to make sure, uh, I've got my stacks over here, and I write, I'm going to put all the mythics here in one, in one of these penny sleeves for you real quick. Uh, I've, I'm finding everything but the Sharpie. All right, we'll put all these together, we'll put them to the side for you, Lance, obviously. All right, we keep on hovering between six and seven viewers. I really want to get up to ten viewers before I do a giveaway. Everybody, I mean, does everybody think that's reasonable, or should I just be doing giveaways throughout regardless? Maybe just do it by the hour instead or something? I don't know. All right, there's Lance. We've got to make that pile there. I'm going to run out of room on my desk. We're going to need a bigger desk. All right, let's move this around. Sorry, guys. 
<clears throat> All right, without further ado, we're just going to jump right into the set box here as well. Not even going to take a break. We're just going to keep rolling. Yeah, I'd like to, you know, I mean, I want to be giving away the cards and doing giveaways and stuff, but I want to make sure that we have, you know, enough people that can be to win them, you know? Not that not that you guys aren't enough, but yeah, we'll see. All right. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take all these out of here. And Lance, we're just going to put all of your cards right here in this box. How about this? After this box opening, we're going to do a giveaway. I think it's uh I think it's it, it's it's time we do one today. Uh, I'd like to try to give away cards as often as possible. But we will see what we can get done. Let's put this here. All right. Boom. All right. Let's get right into this set booster box here. Let's start crack and see what kind of goodies we can come up with. All right. We've got an art card. We've got a common. We're just going to keep those together. Teachings of the Archaics is our first lesson card. It's a rare, so we'll put that off to the side. And then again, in these, you could have any amount of commons and uncommons and stuff like that. We have a creative outburst uncommon, a spell satchel, conspiracy theorist is our first rare, and then we've got a grape shot, mystical archive. Cool. And a big play. That's right. There'll be a foil in every pack and a token. Oh, there's so much. You know what? We're going to keep all the tokens, lands. We're going to keep all that stuff together. And then we'll have it set up like this. And then our mythics we'll have right in front of us. All right. All right, yeah, we're going to go back to doing the uncommon. Sorry, guys. Uh, Killin' Ink Duelist. Reflective Golem. Rutha Mercurial Artist. And a Hoffrey Ghost Forge. I haven't seen a lot of these either in, in the packs of boxes that I've opened. Nice Mythic though. Mythic number one. Sweet. An Agonizing Remorse uncommon. And a Lorehold Pled Mage. Oh, and our uh, list card is Blight Sickle. Equipped creature has plus one, plus zero, and Wither. So it deals all its damage in minus one, minus one counters. That's like a Mason card right there. That's a card that Mason would typically use. Um, right, Mason? All right, now we have our art card that's actually signed. I'm not going to go through all of them, but this is the Ink Duelist. That's not too bad, not too bad of art. And then just scroll through these real quick. All right, Thunderous Orator. And am I, am I seeing double? No? Another Hoffrey Ghost Forge, Mythic. A Valentine Dean of the Vein, rare. A Harmonize, rare. That's actually a hell of a pack right there. You get two rares and a Mythic in the same pack. That's actually pretty nice. That's very nice. Weird that it's two of the same Mythic back-to-back -back packs, but uh, but two myth or a Mythic, two rares, not a bad box or a bad pack. Um, Storm Kiln Artist, Team Pennant, Zephyr Boots, Ifrit Flame Painter Rare, and a Shock. Very nice. Very nice. Really, you've been seeing this guy in a, a Mythic in every box? Oh, it's very tribal. Spirits you control, Trample Haste, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's mm, interesting. I haven't seen a lot of those. I'm surprised. All right, we have a start from scratch lesson card. We have an ingenious or ingenious, well, how do you say that? Inspiration uncommon, an overgrowth, overgrown arch. All right, we have an exponential growth rare, a pestilent cauldron rare, cultivate, nice with a clever luminancer. That's actually a decent uncommon, so um 
beautiful, beautiful. Oh, so pretty. All right, that's the best card in the box so far. Everybody knows I love foil lands. All right, Killian again. The Ink Duelist. Reflective Golem, got that already as well. A Culling Ritual, very nice rare. Eliminate. Leyline Invocation. And a token, all right. Well, if you don't want them, let me know, Lance. Uh, I am... So, so you guys know, if you guys um, are interested in selling any of your cards back to me, um, you could submit a buy list, and then I will upload that buy list to the website. Um, and don't forget to check out the website. It's uh, definitely been upgraded. It's got a lot of, like I said, it's got all of the um, mythics and rares from Commander Legends and from... Uh, Strixhaven. I also have all of the Mystical Archives on the website as well. And I'm going to try to work on getting the Uncommons and Commons put up there over the weekend and then work my way back to Kaldheim. <clears throat> Umbral Juke, Uncommon. Mascot Interception. Practical Research. Explosive Welcome. Mentor's Guidance. Test of Talents. Venerable War Singers are rare with a gift of estates. All right. Oh, there we go. Lash Out is our uh, card from the list. Pretty cool. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Whatever you want, put it aside. Oh, cool. Uh, I want the Belladros. Non-foil full art. No, I'm only kidding. I've actually got a couple of those already. Mortality Spear. Quandrix Command. I think one of the better commands. A Dean of Substance. Which flips over to the Dean of Theory. A Whirlwind Denial. And a Curate Common uh, Foil. All right, we're moving pretty pretty well along here on box on this box without all these camera issues. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, Rutha, Mercurial Artist. This inspiration again. Baleful Mastery again, another good rare. Lightning Bolt. There we go. Now that's a hit right there. Uh, Biblioplex Assistant. I think the uh, the lightning bolt uh, the lightning bolt is going for uh, for a couple bucks. Uh, Mercurial transformation uncommon. Get rid of these commons. We have a flunk, which is target creature gets. I haven't seen this card, so that's why I'm reading it. Minus X until the end turn, where X is seven minus the number of cards in that creature. Uh, okay, interesting. Go blank. Another good card. Stonebinders familiar. Radiant Scroll Wielder. Claim the Firstborn with a Kelpie Guide. Oops. Oh, yeah, those go there. Yeah. Uh, all the tokens, commons, and lands are going to be all, you know, one pile. I'm not making, you know, 20 piles. Come on, let's get some Mythic hits in here. Come on, let's go. I want to see something big. I want a Demonic Tutor. Let's go. Lorehold Apprentice. Returned Past Caller. Professor of Symbiology, Elemental Expressionist Rare, Thrill of Possibility, and a Mortality Spear. That's a good uncommon foil. And a Fractured Power Stone. Not sure if that's worth anything. I mean, uh, Plan or Die, I mean, that's only, you know, that's obviously very set specific, of course. All right. Oh, Foily Swamp. So pretty. Yeah, alright. A Containment Breach uh, Lesson card. Alright, we've got an Expressive Iteration. Cody Vociferous Codex. Dispark. Infuse the Vitality. Alright. Let's do this here. I gotta click this button here. 
and here and there we go all right just go through some of these comments let's go all right so for you're interested in joining the raffle hit explanation point raffle so shift one and then raffle and you'll be entered to, uh, to the raffle fracture Silver Quill Apprentice, Show of Confidence, Conspiracy Theorist, Rare, Village Rights, Fuming Effigy, and a Trash Card. You can only get one raffle uh, or one ticket per raffle, so uh, no need to spam. Oh, wow, this is going to be a lot of uncommons in this one. Clever Luminancer, Fracture. Silver Quill Apprentice, Show of Confidence, A Dueling Coach, Carrick Wrangler, Boom! And there we go. Now we're talking. Great, great hit. Oh! <laughs> Milla Crafty Companion. Which turns into Luca. Woo! And then a negate. Emergent sequence. Oh my goodness. And then Skullbriar. As your list card. That's a hell of a pack. Wow. What a what a pack, man. Double Mythic. You get a Skullbriar as well. Yeah, I'm going to need some kind of uh, something for that. You're right. Uh, need some kind of a sound effect. Somebody find me uh, some kind of a burn sound effect or uh, some kind of cool sound effect that I could put into OBS or into into here, into uh, the Twitch stream that I could just hit a button and make a noise. I mean, I thought my beautiful voice, me saying holy shit, is good enough, but apparently it's not, according to Lance. So, uh, no, I'm just kidding, of course. So, I completely agree. Maelstrom Muse, the Bibliopex, a good rare again. Oh, and another Mythic, Natural Order. We're going to put that down with the Mythic pile. And we're still only about halfway through. This is awesome. We're going to keep the raffle going for uh, for a couple minutes. I'm going to let that go until, until we got a few packs left. A, mer uh, a Mercurial Transformation. I did say I wanted to see some uh, some mythics, and we got two in one pack. All right, dueling coach, Carrick Wrangler, Lorehold Command, and a snakeskin veil. Oh, accomplished alchemist rare foil. Sweet. We'll put that with the rares there. All right, all right, all right, all right. We have a tenured ink caster, closing statement, humiliate, Strixhaven Stadium. That's a good rare. Infuriate, divide by zero. All right, nice. Still, you know, I mean, the rares might not be, you know, like $100 rares or anything, but they're still pretty damn good. Oh, tell me, I mean, how could you guys just not think that foil lands are just not the best things? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but whatever. All right. Snow Day. Prismari, Prismari Apprentice. Dream Strix. Rare. And a Regrowth Rare. Nice. And a... Oh. And we have a Nefalia Academy. Uh, uncommon from the list. Was it Eldritch Moon? Nice. That's a good cyborg card when you're playing against like a Nicol Bolas uh, deck. All right, we have a tenured ink caster, another humiliate, shade wing laureate, thunderous orator, a radiant scroll wielder, plarg dean of chaos, which turns into a Augusta dean of order, so chaos and order, nice. 
a revitalize. Ooh, and a foil thrill of possibility. Nice. Those are going for a pretty couple uh, couple bucks. All the uh, full art foils. I mean, some are you know only you know a dollar or so, but for the majority of them, I think they're all in the you know two three dollar range at least. All right. Wow. There's all commons. All right. Another shade wing laureate. The biblioplex again. Opt. And a foil humiliate with a fathom mage. Nice. So that's the second rare in uh, from the list. Cool. Obviously, fathom mage has a lot of playability, especially in any kind of proliferate deck and stuff like that. All right. So so far, we've got three people entered into the raffle. We got about five packs to go before I close the raffle. So. Uh, if you're interested in joining in on uh, getting a pull from the po uh, from the burn pile there, make sure you enter the uh, raffle. All right, we've got a flunk, a go blank, a vanishing verse, a very good rare again, and an uh, agonizing remorse. I apologize, English is not my first language, so sometimes I do make mistakes here. All right. All right, so we've got a Necrotic Fumes on Common. I know I'm kind of giving away a card in the back there. We've got another Go Blank. This is at least the third one we've gotten in this box here. Stonebinders Familiar. A Dean of Radiance, which will flip into a Dean of Shadow. Revitalize and Strategic Planning Foil on Common. Nice. Uh, that goes there. Sorry. Come on. We need at least one or two more good hits, right there, Lance? We need to hit a couple more out of the park, right? Access Tunnel. A Hall Monitor. Ingenious Mastery is our first rare. With a Silver Quill Command. A D-Spark. Ah, and a Field Trip. Okay. Well, I mean, it was a three rare pack. It's, it's, it's hard to complain when that happens. It's obviously not going to match the uh, double mythic pack, but, you know, still can't complain. Stonebinder's Familiar again. Ardent Dusk Speaker. Lorehold Excavation. Exponential Growth. That's what she said. Um, shock with a Campus Guide. All right, we've got about, what do we got? One, two, three... Got six packs left. Well, it looks like you guys are going to have a 33% chance of winning uh, a pull from the burn pile, huh? Since it's just the three you guys have, <laughs> have entered. Where's everybody else at? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Foil Island. Best card in the pack so far. Ardent Dusk Speaker. Lorehold Excavation again. I haven't seen this one. The Field Historian? I haven't seen that uncommon yet. Sedgemore Witch. This is another very good rare. The Leonin Light Scribe. Another good rare. With a Doom Blade rare. Again, another three rare pack. I mean, I, I want to say, yeah, let's get more, let's get more. It's tough to say that when you're getting three rares in a pack. Especially whenever, like, at least, you know, two of them are decent rares as well. It's one thing if they're all three bulk shit rares, you know, that are worth a nickel, but... Detention Vortex on common. Secret Rendezvous. Rip Apart. And the Dean of Perfection. Which flips over to a Dean of Expression. Then you've got a really good car behind that in a Brainstorm. With a Heated Debate. Alright. Hold on, I want to look at something here. I don't know if you guys can see. No, not in here. Okay. Come on, let's get another. Let's get one more really solid mythic hit. Three, four packs to go. I want to see something good here. We have Confront the Past is our lesson rare. Oops, wrong, wrong pile. You're getting all these anyways for the most part. Another Field Historian. Reconstruct History. Lorehold Apprentice. Returned Past Caller, an Elite Spellbinder, 
Divine Gambit. Ooh, with a Dragon's Guard Elite. Rare Foil. Nice. Oh, and a Willow Dryad. It's actually a really good card from Portal. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 with Forest Walk. Really can't complain about that. All right. Three packs left. Start from scratch. Good on common. Reconstruct history again. That's like the third or fourth one. Ooh, a Titan. Very nice Titan there. Selfless Glyph Weaver. With a deadly vanity is what it flips into. You got your buddy again. Another faithless looting for you. A pop quiz foil. All right, well, we're just going to go ahead and close the entries. It's just the three of you guys. And Aragorn, Mark, you won the pull. You get a pull from the burn pile as soon as we're done here, man. Awesome, awesome. All right. We have a Grinning Ignis, Strixhaven Stadium, a Duress with the Leech fanatic all right last pack Oof! come on man let's go i want to end this on a bang and it, we are going to end this on a bang all right i'm going to i'm going to slow roll this one a little bit did we already see what it was anybody else see what it is cuz i saw what it was professor of symbiology a clever luminancer Boom. Elder Dragon. Full Art Mythic. And this isn't even what I'm talking about. I think we got another decent hit back here, I think. I think. Let's go. What else we got? A Defiant Strike. And I was right. Boom. Blue Sun Zenith. Full Art Mythic Foil. That's how you end a fucking box. Oh, a freaking box. Another double mythic. Foil, full art, blue sun zenith. Just beautiful. God, that is gorgeous. All right. I mean, overall, Lance, look, we got seven mythics. Uh, foil mythic, uh, mystical archive, full art. Uh, Professor Onyx. I mean, I... Oof. It's a hell of a box right there, in my opinion. Uh, all right. Sorry. I'm just being uh, gentle here. I don't want to ruin anything or mess anything up. You also got two rares in the, um, in the whatchamacallit, in the, uh, from the list, which normally you only get one, so that's pretty good as well. Awesome. Awesome. Now we go to our burn pile pull. Here we go. I put a couple of the uh, Mystical Archives in here earlier today, so I am going to shuffle it up just a little bit more, and then we're going to do our pull here for Mark. Okay. And Mark, since you already have cards coming uh, to you from me, I'm just going to add the this into that shipment there, if that's all right with you, sir. All right. And then we... So next, we have a collector booster box of Strixhaven. And then we're going to do our patron openings, which is going to be Commander Legends. And if anybody's interested in getting in on any packs before uh, before we uh, end the stream, just let me know. We're going to cut. We're going to flip. Oh! So, Mark, here's what this is. This here is a blank token card. So what that means is you get to pick a pack, a standard pack from the website, you just tell me what you'd like, and since you're here in the stream and we're talking, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just going to tell you what, what the options are. Um, I'll give you the option of either we do another pull from the pile, or you can get a pack opened, and your packs can be um, – uh, where are we? Okay, Theros Beyond Death. Ikoria, Core 21, or Ravnica Allegiance. You let me know what you want to do. If you want another pull from the pile, we could do that as well. 
What was the next one? Oh, a pathway. Would have been nice. Would you like a pack of cards? And if you would, let me know what pack you would like. And I can go grab that. Or we could do another pull from the pile. And yes, it has to be any of the packs that are $4.99 on the website. <laughs> I know that there are some other packs on there that are quite expensive. You still with us, Mark? Maybe you're checking out the website, see what pack you'd like. <clears throat> Ravnica? All right. I'm going to put you guys on a quick hold, and I'm going to go grab that pack of Ravnica Allegiance. Hold on one second for me. All right, let's go. Is that a green screen, Steve? Yes, I do use a green screen. Um, so, um, let's see. All right, yes, I do use a green screen, Alex. Uh, yeah, all right, here we go. Ravnica Allegiance Booster Pack for Mark. We're going to open this. We'll get you anything that's decent out of here, bud. All right. Are we ready? Oh, Growth Spiral. That's a good un That's a good common. Uh, nothing really in there. Windstorm Drake. Sharkdo Crab. Syndicate Guild Mage and our rare mythic is gonna be Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Wow nice All right mark good call buddy you got a godless shrine and I'm gonna send the growth spiral along with it bud uh, All right cool Lance. Thanks for ch stopping by. We're gonna uh, thanks for leaving the stream running as well. Nice hits mark awesome job bud Awesome job. I'm just going to keep the rest of the other stuff, if you don't mind. All right, now, here we go. We are going to do a Commander Legends box, or I'm sorry, a Strixhaven box of collectors for Dean. And we are going to get uh, see what kind of goodies we can pull for him. We are still looking for a Demonic Tutor Full Art. Japanese or Eng well no we got a actually we did get one yesterday but we're looking for a Japanese one so good luck to you all right here we go here we go pack one let's see what we can pull So, again, I'm not going to go through all the, the common foils or anything. Uh, we'll just get right to the... Let's we'll get right to the uncommons again. All right. Mage Hunter. Team Pennant. Start from scratch. And then we have the Light Scribe is our first rare. Next, we have our Commander... Uh, this, is, this could be an uncommon, a rare, or a mythic from the um, Commander 2021. Or the, you know, Commander uh, Strixhaven. Layla the Blade Forged. With a Sparring Regimen Full Art. And then our first Japanese 
archive or a, yeah, a mystical archive card and I'm gonna unfortunately have to go through and change this around a little bit let me look at this so I can pull up I need to be I, I don't know these off the top of my head what is what um, I believe that this is a shock but I can't I don't know that for sure um, and unfortunately there's like nowhere that's easy enough to tell me like which is which and it's annoying so we're gonna go with uh, ascending number alright so 104 there oh, okay this is cool okay this actually makes life a lot easier uh, this website uh, scryfall it's so good perfect there it is infuriate alright so we have a full art infuriate I'm going to move this over here a little bit. I was thinking shock as well, but it is an infuriate. All right, I got to just make my screens a little different sizes so it's a little bit easier to see. Nice. Our next is going to be a Croson Grip Mystical Archive. Ooh. It's an uncommon. It's number 112. And number 112 is... I think it's Snakeskin Veil. Nope. Adventurous Impulse. Mystical Archive Full Art Foil. Nice. And an Electrolyze. Nice. Not a bad pack one right there. So, with the... Uh, so, for those of you that don't know, the uh, last three cards in every pack are going to be uh, a mystical archives the fourth card can be anything from the set um, but you're 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 always gonna have your three mystical archives up front or Japanese are uh, yeah Japanese mystical archives or regular mystical archives so it could be either or so you're guaranteed three of them per pack the fourth one is not guaranteed alright we have a wormhole serpent a woe eater on common. We have a confront the past lesson card. Rare. Nice. I'm just going to keep all your rares in one stack here. We have the Titan again. Spawning Kraken from Commander 21. Fervent Mastery. Rare. And now this is a Cultivate. I know this already. Blue Sun Zenith. Mythic. Full Art. Nice. This is a duress, if I'm not mistaken. Number 93, is that what that says? Or 83? 93. Wow, nice. I'm pretty sure this is duress. I might be wrong, but the prick... Oh, it's eliminate. Okay. So, full art foil eliminate. Nice. And then we have... Ooh. Double black. It's a rare. Sign in blood. Very nice. Wow, these... I'm just going to keep all these in one st one stack. I'm going to keep all your Mystical Archives in one stack. There we go. Don't care about the rarity. Wow, so far you got eight of them. Man, nice. Nice. All right, Professor of Symbiology. Killian, Ink Duelist. We have a Pest Summoning as our lesson card. Sedgemore Witch, very good rare. Vine Witch Coven, Vein Witch. Another Titan, full art this time, non foil. Agonizing Remorse. Uh, Stone Rain, I already know this one. Negate. And. Alright, a full art box topper type, ma Fervent Mastery. Like I said, that last one. Um, is never guaranteed, is not always, you know, a Japanese art card. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I was not a big fan of the Japanese art cards for Ikoria, but these, um, from this set, kind of got me hooked. Um, Overgrown Arch, Decisive Denial, and then a common lesson card. Shalai Dean of Radiance Rare, Witch's Clinic, 
from our commander set. Basic conjuration. We have a uh, an opt. Uh, dark ritual. Nice. One in a white. That's interesting. I don't know what the one in a white is. It's not a mana tithe. It's going to be... Revitalize. Revitalize full art foil. Oh, double major full art foil box topper. Nice. That's a great hit. Again, I think it's a great card. I know that not everybody's sold on it, but I am absolutely sold on that card. I think it's really, really strong. Um, I get that it's an, it, you know, it's a stack, you know, it goes on the stack. So, Storm Kiln Artist, Rutha Mercury Artist, Necrotic Fumes. I don't even know what I just said there. Ifrit, <laughs> Ifrit Flame Painter. Guardian Augmenter, Quandrix Command, boom, and one white for the Japanese art card is going to be, let's see, Defiant Strike, a Doom Blade, and then one in a red, hmm. What are you going to be a uh, one in a red? Thrill of possibility. Okay. Yep. And then. Ooh. Is this mana tithe? Full art rare. I think this is mana tithe. 71. This is fun, right? We're all learning uh, Japanese together. Anybody can read this. That'd be great. Let me know what this says. It is Mana Tithe. Nice. That's going to be a that's going to be worth a, a few pennies, I can tell you that. All right. 1 2 3. We still have I mean after this pack, there's still 6 left, so we still have half the box to go. We're Oh, all right. Just moving right along. A Brackish Trudge, Quandrix Apprentice. Our com Ooh, Ecological Appreciation. Is this our first Mythic of the Box? Wow. Ryona Fire Dancer from Commander. Oh, there you go. We'll talk. I want this one. Thrill of Possibility. Double Black. Did we get this one already? Even though I don't remember it. Number 95 is going to be Sign and Blood. Yeah, okay. Nice. Sign and Blood. Village Rights. And a Harmonized Box Topper Foil version. Nice. So, a two Mythic Pack. Very nice. We'll take that. That Professor Onyx is just a sweet looking card. I'll tell you that. Might not be Foil, but that's okay with me. We have an Ardent Dusk Speaker. Fracture, uncommon. All right. Ingenious Mastery, rare. Creative Technique. Pestilent Cauldron. A Duress. Two double black for... Um, that's it. Tendrils of Agony. Okay, Tendrils of Agony, nice. Revitalize. And we have, it's a rare Dean of Substance, which is also Dean of Theory. Cool. All right, five packs to go before we get into our uh, Patreon Commander Legends boxes. I was going to do this box last, but I didn't want uh, Dean to have to wait the whole video to get to see this, even though uh, he'll be one of the last ones to go in the uh, Commander Legends. Tenured Inkcaster, Zamone Quandrix Prodigy, Teachings of the Archaics, Silver Quill Command, a Sprout Back Trudge. And guys, on Monday we're going to go through some of the uh, Commander, uh, the Commander decks, unless we can get some of these packs sold to make another video. Woo! That is, I haven't seen this yet. That is awesome looking. Tanazir Quandrix. 
the elder dragon for the green blue sorry wow that is awesome looking and then we have number 93 again which is eliminate right yep we have an eliminate a growth spiral thrill of possibility uh didn't we have this one already 102 this is the box topper grape shot actually nice all right come on let's go big hits big money big money big money no whammy no whammy no whammy kind of dating myself with that right all right test of talents wither bloom apprentice Containment Breach, Dream Strix, Ruxa, Patient Professor, Leonin Light Scribe, Divine Gambit. Ooh, what's this? Is this Brainstorm? I actually have. No, this isn't Brainstorm. Oh, it might be Brainstorm. Yeah, Brainstorm. Nice. A double white uncommon. Not sure what this one is either. What number is that? Sorry, it's hard to see the numbers. Divine Gambit. Very nice. And a Radiant Scroll Wielder. Alright, three packs to go. Come on. Hit a tutor. I'd love to hit a tutor, man. Let's go. Yeah, the Grape Shot's not a bad one. I know that that's worth a couple bucks. A Thunderous Orator. A Mortality Spear. Just skip through this common. Boom. Jodzi, Oracle of Avocados. And he flips over to the Journey to the Oracle. A Disip Discipline Enforcer. Oh, another Jadzi. This time it's a Full Art Mythic. A Grape Shot, Foil, Full Art, Japanese is 70 bucks. Wow, nice. Well, this one is Whirlwind of Denial. I know that already. I'm not even going to... I'll look it up just to make sure, but uh, I am almost positive. Yep. No, Memory Lapse. That's what this one is. Nice. Oh, no. That's not the same. Wait, is that number 86? Sorry. Number 86. Yeah, Whirlwind of Denial. Woo. Nice. A Grape Shot. A Duress. With a Callous Blood Mage. Two packs to go. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this, Brutus. We have an honor troll. Expressive iteration. Cody Ver uh, Vociferous Codex. Cunning Rhetoric. Archmage Guy. We have a Cultivate. Boom! There he is! It's not Foil, but he's here! He has made his presence known. Japanese art. Demonic Tutor. Alright. I think that he deserves his own sleeve. Woo! Nice, man. Nice. I know you probably don't care about the rest, but we're still going to go through them anyways. We've got ourselves a strategic planning box topper. Oh, shit. And a time warp. A time warp full art foil box topper. Holy shit. That is a pack and a half, dude. Same pack. Foil, Full Art, Japanese, Box Topper, Mythic, Time Warp, and a Full Art, Japanese, Demonic Tutor. The same pack. Holy shit. You want to donate this last pack to me? Or do you want me to open it for you? Wow. That is awesome. Woo. That's that stuff right there. Everybody who's not watching, man, you guys just miss it. Yeah, th that pack alone paid for the box.
My brother got these. You can have that full art fat chick or that full art chick as a tip. What full art? Oh, I could have Professor Onyx. Ooh, that's a nice tip right there. All right, Grinning Ignis, Dina Soul Steeper, Lorehold Command, Cursed Mirror, a Culling Ritual. Claim the Firstborn. Uh, this is uh, the green blue one is. Oh, uh, come on. I'm drawing a blank. Electrolyze. Nice. Claim the Firstborn. Foil Full Art. And our last card of the box is going to be a rare Frost Boil Snarl. Wow. Yeah, it was a tutor and a time warp in the same pack. It, same pack, and it's just, woo. And he also pulled these two in the same pack, a Jodzi Oracle of Avocados. And then the Tanazir Quandrix. Are, were you serious about I can have the Professor Onyx? Because that's awesome if you're being serious. So, man, so excited about this. Woo! Oh, you already have her in foil, so I can have this. Oh. Nice. I appreciate that, sir. I do appreciate that. I am super excited about this box. Wow. I don't even want to go to Commander Legends now, but we're going to. All right, we have all of our... All right, how am I going to stack these? I'm going to put the... Yeah, we're going to put it like this. Two ninety, So $500 in one pack. Wow. All right, you mind if I take a picture of this real quick? Let's take a quick picture of this so we could post it. Whew. Wow, that is just badass. All right. I'm sorry guys. I'm a little uh I'm a little bit all over the place right here now. Just that was exciting. That was exciting. Got to write your name out here. Get you a label so we don't... Uh... Okay. So next we're going to be opening up some Commander Legends for our patrons. I've got two boxes here. I'm going to open almost both boxes, but not quite. Um, you know what? Lance said I should put these in top loaders. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to put them in top loaders. I just banged on the desk a little bit. My dog just looked at me like somebody's at the door. Oof. Can you guys believe that? One pack. One pack. Oh, that was awesome. And thank you for the Professor Onyx. I do appreciate that. I, I, I think this is like, that's some great artwork. I really like that card, that artwork and everything. Yeah, that'll be a thumbnail for you. That's why I had to take a picture of it. That's going to be posted in quite a few places right there. I'll tell you that. I will tell you that. All right, Lance, I've got to move all your cards out of the way. Yeah, I'm glad it happened too, man. That was awesome. Hopefully people will uh, want to check that out because that was uh, badass. That's short for badass if you're if you're unsure. All right, those are going to sit up there. Dean, your cards are going to go over here. You got to send that picture to Chuck right away.
Uh, if I drop one in your stack, it's all right. Hey, do you guys mind if I take like a quick three minute break so I can go pee and then uh, we could get these Commander Legends boxes cracked? And by me asking, that's just me being polite because that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to take a, uh, a quick two minute break so I can go pee. So uh, enjoy the uh, Be Right Back screen and uh, hum to yourselves and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, wow, still, still kind of going from that, uh, from those two cards, dude. Demonic Tutor, uh, Box Topper, uh, Time Warp. Wow, that was just awesome. All right, let's get going on these, uh, on these Commander Legends packs here. So this is the last time for uh, the Patreon where we're going to be doing the uh, special boxes, we'll call it. We're going to be doing regular set boxes moving forward. Uh, but every now and again, we'll change it up because we all know I just like to do that. So uh, without further ado, obviously, we're not going to go with the normal uh, pack amount because, you know, less packs in the box and stuff like that. So we all know we're going to be getting. So our first Patreon, our first patron is Patrick. Uh, Patrick is actually going to be getting one pack. So we will open that for him now. Oh. I guess we won't. This doesn't want to open today. This is weird. Wow. So what do you guys think? Should we uh, should we get more commander or should we get more Strixhaven collector boxes? I think they're worth it, but that's just me. We're gonna go through each of these. Uh, we're not gonna go through all of them. Uh, I'm just gonna go through, kind of grab the decent ones and put them to the side here for the commons. Uh, let's see. And on commons as well. All right. Mindless automate, Automaton. Meteor Golem. Pride of the Perfect. With an Amphion Mutineer. That's actually a good rare. Iktekic Salvage Splicer. With a Brynlin, the Moon Kraken. And a Foil Workshop Assistant. So those are going to go to... Uh, actually, I'm going to try to keep these packs intact. We're not sending the whole pack, though. We're only sending these. So I'm just going to put all these in penny sleeves. So you guys are going to have to bear with me while I write out some labels here and there for uh, my patrons. Which I know that you guys won't mind, since most of you guys that are watching are patrons anyways. Alright, Patrick. There we go. Alright. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. This was great. It's gonna be it's a good way to start the weekend, right? Uh, where do I put all this bulk stuff? Up oh, there it is. I was looking for that. Put that there. Next we have Sebastian. Sebastian's getting six packs. Three, six. All right. Oops. All right. Sebastian is a uh, whoa whoa tabernacle in the uh, in the Discord. Boom. Let's see. Again, we're not going to spend too much time going through a lot of these. Yeah, no really good commons in here. Command Tower, obviously. We have Make a Stand. Hunter's Insight. Guilt Leaf. Horizon Stone. Nice. Caller of Wirewood. Rebic. These aren't worth anything. And Supernatural Stamina. All right. Hopefully we get some good hits for you guys. I, I'd like to see a Jeweled Lotus, a Vampiric Tutor, a Mana Drain. Let's get one of those in out of these. Um, is it like an AOL chat room? You're in my Discord, dude. What do you mean? Just log in and check it out. I don't know what you're asking me. It's not like an AOL chat room. There are no 50-year-old men, you know, trying to hit on 13-year-old girls. Well, I guess if you joined, it would be like that, right? Uh, Burnished Heart. Humble Defector. Grafted War Gear. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, uh. Jeweled Lotus for for uh, for Sebastian. Holy shit! Rograth. Welcome. What's up, Ralph? Thank you for joining. Welcome to the Burn Squad. We just opened up ourselves a Jeweled Lotus for our patron. Sebastian, wow, let's go. We pulled a uh, full art, or we pulled a Japanese uh, demonic tutor. We pulled a Japanese foil time warp. It's been a heck of a night so far, man. It's just getting, it's, woof. Interpret the signs. Patron of the Valiant, three visits, good on common. Sweet gum recluse. Storms, woof. Was that a foil? Been lurking and saw those amazing pools. Oh, that's what we do here, man. We all love opening packs and boxes and stuff, man. It's a ton of fun. Uh, I sell the packs through the website, uh, which is themanaburn.com. So you can definitely check that out if you're ever interested. Uh, on cracking some packs or buying singles. Got a bunch of singles on there. Still working on it. Still pretty new, but we're working on it. We're getting there. Uh, and thanks for joining us. And uh, Court of Bounty. Good rare. Which was, oh, and a Jessica Thrice Reborn for, or Mythic with a Togo. Uh, Alex, uh, the that foil with the, oh, that was not a foil Jeweled Lotus, no. It, or are you asking what the, are you asking what the foil was in that pack? I think the foil in that pack was a Court of Cunning, which is a good rare. Very good rare. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me move over a little bit. Really nothing all that great in these uncommons here. Or commons. Soul of Eternity rare. I mean, at this point, I don't think that he's going to be complaining. Kite Sail so uh, Corsair. Last pack. Last pack for Sebastian. No, it wasn't the, the mnemonic. Uh, I know what you were thinking of, but yeah, it wasn't that, Alex. Or Mason. Marble Diamond. Man, Thorn of the Black Rose used to be worth a good amount. Uh, Meteoric Mace. A Brass Herald. Volcanic Torrent. With a Root Weaver Druid. And then the Neville Meyer will throw in there. Oh! Prismatic Piper. Does anybody need five cents? No? All right. Just put that to the side. Wow. I know uh, I know Sebastian's not here, but man, send him some love. Let him know. Check out this video. 
I guess he'd have to, you know, check in about the hour and 45 minute mark. But, uh, yeah, he should definitely ch he should definitely stop by and check it out. What are you trying to plug, uh, Alex? I'm not, I, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what that means. Actually, where's our jeweled lotus at? There we go. Sorry, guys, I but I want to, you know, keep track of all. The, oh, there we go. Cool. Don't want to mix up anybody's cards. I'm sure you would all, I'm sure you all understand. If you buy packs, I crack them on stream right away. Uh, if I can, like tonight, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have time. But what I would do is if you bought the packs, um, if you, uh, uh, hold on one second. If you bought the packs, I would open them on Monday. Um, but if you bought them like uh, Monday during the stream, I would open them Monday night. It's just that I, you know, tonight is, is because I've got the rest of these packs to open. So, and I don't want to make this a, uh, you know, a four hour opening. That's all. Um, but next time I do the Patreon opening, I'll have all these labels pre-made. Uh, so it also speeds up the time a little bit. But Patrick, Sebastian. All right, Jacoby is next with his three packs. Jacoby, I don't think he is here. Alex, yeah, I don't know if you tried doing it that way, Alex. Uh, I think that only, I thought everybody could do it. I'll have to recheck the... Um, the settings if, if somebody else if you, if other people aren't able to um ooh reclamation we love misfortune that's a really good rare ghost of ramirez di pietro all right so that's pack 1 so during for the patreon packs and and also Ralph just so you know uh for the regular packs I go through and I uh okay there you go you could do it too Alex I go through, I, I'll give you the rares, commons, and uncommons. Basically, anything worth value. Um, the only packs that I don't have up there right now, that I do have a few left, um, are the, are, are the uh, Commander Legends. I have more packs available that aren't up there. Oh, we got a Plague Weaver rare. Thorn of the Glade, a Jury, not really worth much in, these pa in those uh, there. Yeah, but uh, if you want the whole pack, I would st I'd send you the whole pack. Uh, the packs on the website include shipping already. The pricing already includes shipping. And then if you wanted um, the whole pack sent to you, I you know we could work out as far as shipping goes. Maybe it'd be like an extra fifty cents or an extra dollar or something like that. Uh, but that's something we could talk about and figure out. No problem. Um, Horizon Scholar Thought Vessel, good on common. With a War Room, very good rare. Tormod the Desecrator, Jared, True Air will pass along, and then the Foil, and that's it. All right, Jacoby's cards. Not bad, actually. This is actually pretty good. Um, again, I do, this is this is a really good set, in my opinion. I know people are not the biggest fans, um, simply because if you don't hit one of the big three Mythics, um, it, it could be a, a, a poopy box, but in my experience, you still always basically at least get your money back out of Commander Legends, if not a little bit more. Uh, you're not going to break the bank, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it, in my opinion, it's well worth it. It's well worth 110 bucks or whatever for these boxes. I think they're still worth it. All right, next we have Ian. All right. And then we're going to do Mark and Foster after Ian. Or Mark and Alex. I apologize. There's two Alexes, so I tend to use the last names. All right. We have a Thirst for Knowledge, Sunset Pyramid, a Noxious Dragon, Nightblade, Nightshade Harvester, and eh, not, not too much after that. All right, let's see. 
Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. We have a fencing ace on common, a null caller, shimmer mirror. Ooh, and a mythic soul fire eruption. Nice. Kelleth, gift of paradise. Not bad. And our last pack for Ian. All right. You know what? Let's do this. We got we got eight viewers in here. We've been having a hell of a night so far. Let's keep this night going, right? What do you guys say? Uh-oh. Bear with me. There's something going on here. Oh, oh, never mind. Boom. We have a Faith's Fetters on common. A Nadir's Nightblade. If you want to join the raffle, just hit explanation point raffle. Just like Dean did there and Alex. Lore Steaker Stone. We have a Promise of Tomorrow. Ooh, and a Chroma Vision of Ixidor with an Elegith Crossroads Augur. An Etched Foil Elena Kessig Trapper. Holy crap, what a pack for Ian. That last, this last pack is great. Okay, a Promise of Tomorrow, a Vision of Ixidor, an Elegant Crossroads Arger, and an Alina Kessig Trapper. That's one pack right there. Wow, so good. Awesome job, Ian. Thank you for being a patron. And again, just so you guys know, I think everybody already knows this, but I do uh, contribute 10% of all uh, proceeds from Patreon to our... Um, to the Wounded Warriors project. So uh, we're up to donating. A, I donate $25 a month. So yeah, it's been, so that's great. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open March three packs. Mark, are you still here, buddy? We're going to open your three packs. And then after that, we're going to do our pull for the giveaway. So you guys have a few minutes to get in on that still. If you have not entered the raffle, make sure you jump in on there. A marble diamond. All right, so we've got a pen and blade. Oh, sorry. Vow of lighting. Strength of the pack. With a blasphemous act. Hey, you know what? Great commander card. Togo. And blim comedic genius with a foundry inspector. Oh, boy. All right, two more packs for you. Let's go. I'm basically looking for your command towers and stuff in the commons. Lightning Rig Crew. A Sifter Worm. Merchant Raiders. All right, let's slow roll it for you. A Jessica's Will. I think this is like a $10, $11 card. Awesome hit. Ray of Mastersmith. An Oath Sworn Sentinel Rare with a Court Street Denison. We'll give you that as well. Woo. Man, we are not missing tonight, are we? I might have to open... Oh, preordain right out of the, right off the bat. Nice. Little hit right there. We'll give that one over to you. All right. We have a Supreme Will. Orzov Advocist. A Sandstone, a Sandstone Oracle. With a Rejuvenating Springs. Awesome. Award Wing Familiar, Anuma, Mask of Memory. All right. Wow, Mark. Great. Great. That's awesome, dude. Again, I'm going to add these in with your other cards, and I'll get these shipped out to you tomorrow or Monday. I'm going to do all the shipping between tomorrow and Monday. Uh, I've got a ton of stuff to ship out, so uh, I've got all the Commander Legend or all the Commander boxes. So don't hate me. If it's not shipped out tomorrow, it'll definitely be shipped out by Monday, okay? But awesome. Woo, that was great. All right. We're going to close off these entries here. Yeah, the lands are great. All right, what do we have? We have five entrants. Entrance. And let's uh, pick a winner. Mason. Mason is our winner for the raffle. Nice. You get a pull from the burn pile. 
Ralph, just so you know, the burn pile here consists of um, 100 cards. It gets up to 100 cards every night. and um, Or it goes to 100. So tonight, after we get done with all the pulls, the, before the next stream, there will be 100 cards in here. The cards range mainly between like a dollar to five dollars um, but there are a few that are in the ten dollar range and some that are in the 50 cent range but there's also a mana drain in here there's also token cards and those token cards are uh, get you a free pack um, and mark won the token got a token pack earlier he chose Ravnica allegiance and pulled a uh, godless shrine so there's a lot of goodness in these so you know can't make every card in the pile a home run, but we cut it. Ready, set, go. A heartless act. It's actually one of the better uncommons out of, uh, actually, I think it's the best uncommon out of Ikoria. Couple dollar card right there, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure somebody will correct, can and will correct me. I will put that with the rest of your cards there, Mason. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. So we've got Jacoby, Ian, Mark. Next up is Foster. Two, four, six. All right. Six packs for Mr. Foster. Let's see. Good luck, sir. I hope we get some good pulls for you. Uh, uh oh. Well, considering the pack doesn't want to open, I don't know. Is that a good sign or a bad? There we go. And I have some cards already for you, don't I, Foster? Yeah, I do. Good. All right. If there's any commons that you see in here, guys, that uh, that you wanted, that I might just glance over or pass, just let me know, of course. Uh, Ingenuity Engine. I mean, $1.50 for an uncommon. That's not bad. Kumbaya Witches. That's actually, I think, a decent card still. Frenzied Saddle Brute with Rakasha Debaser. A Nada Deer, a Thalys, and a Silverback Shaman. All right, five more packs here for you there, Alex. Boom. Uh, no, nothing crazy in here yet. Commander Sphere, going to add that in. Explosion of Riches, a Daring Saboteur, Monstrous Onslaught, and Wrong Turn. All right. Helena, Azara will throw. Ooh! <laughs> a Foil Wheel of Misfortune for Mr. Alex. Nice! Nice. Four more packs to go, buddy. Yes, these are yours, Alex. For Mr. Foster. Uh, for the pa for Patreon. Alright, we've got a Vow of Torment. A Furnace Celebration. Armor Craft Judge. Court of Ambition. Very nice. Rebic. An Obeka Brute Chronologist. And a Doom Traveler. I like that they brought Monarch back, you know, with, with this. I'm very, I think that's awesome. I think the Monarch mechanic is one of the most underrated mechanics. I mean, I think it's uh, it's not underrated, I guess. It's just I can't believe they don't make more cards for it uh, to make it, you know, uh, a more viable and playable, uh, you know, uh, mechanic. I think it's awesome. Gollum Artisan. I mean, it invokes uh, combat and, you know, it's I, I don't know. I just I just love it. Necrotic Hex. Okay. Wolvid Familiar, Sarah Archangel, Imperius Perfect. That's a really good uncommon. Wait, do you guys see this? Alex, you got a two foil pack. An Imperius Perfect and a Kumbaya Witches. Very nice. Not only are we hitting Demonic Tutors and Blue Sun Zen or a Time Warp Japanese full art foils, we're also hitting messed up packs. Where we get two foils in the same pack. Oh my goodness. Woo. This is why I enjoy doing this. This is awesome. Vow of Flight. Uh, Ordeal of Ny Nylea. 
Emberwild Captain, Keskit, Hans Ericsson, Iona's Judgment, and a copy token. All right, last pack for you here, Alex. And then we're going to get on to the last two patrons. Well, I say, I don't know. I say error pack just because of the fact that, oh, Viscerous here. That's a good common. Uh, I mean, you're not supposed to have two foils in the same pack, right? You know? Return to Dust. We'll throw that in there. Slaughter the Strong. Downshifted Rare. Victimize. Three great uncommons with Asakashima's Will. Ghost of Ramirez. Emberclaw Familiar. And Prying Eyes. Awesome. Well, Alex, I'll be putting all these aside for you. Let me go ahead and put these over here with the rest of your cards from your set booster box that we opened on Wednesday. All right. So we've got 20 packs to open now. Uh, Dean, if you're still here, who went first last time? Was it you or Chuck? I think it was Chuck I, I put first last time. So this time I'm going to put your packs first and his second. Charles went first. All right, so you're going to go first this time. So you got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Ten packs for Dean. Let's see. He, I mean, we could open up literally nothing, and you still are going to be having a great night. But that's not what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping we pull something decent for you, buddy. Let's go. I'm good with all commons. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll keep everything and just send and just send you the commons instead of uh, the other way around, like for everybody else, right? All right, Warden of Evos Isle, Guildless Commons, a Dreamstone Hedron, Coercive Recruiter, and then an Ictechic, you know what, I'm not even going to read it, Dargo the Shipwrecker, Eye Blight Assassin. All right. Eh, not a great pack one, but it's all right. It's only pack one. We got ten more or nine more to go. I am going to have some leftover Commander Legends packs from this box as well. Probably, well not probably. I'll just throw them on the shelf. Oh, Command Tower, nice. Siren, Storm Tamer. Vow of Duty. Why did I put that there? A Confiscate. Magus of the Order, nice. Yeah, Chuck is usually the luckiest one out of everybody, but yeah, he definitely, definitely not tonight. I mean, unless, because there's no way to hit a box topper here, so there's no way for him to hit a box topper, you know, <laughs> um, Jeweled Lotus. But if he gets a foil Jeweled Lotus, he'll be right back in that conversation as the luckiest, I'll tell you that. Orzov Advocate, a Sandstone Oracle with Laboratory Drudge. Award Wing Familiar, a Numa, ooh, a Rebic, Architect of Ascension, Foil Etch, nice, 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 hoping you hit a VT, you know, when I saw that at first, Mason, I thought you said that you were hoping he gets VD, and I was like, damn, I was like, that's something I would say to him, because I've known him for 40 years, but I was like, you know, you don't even know the guy, but hey, you know, whatever, Thirst of Knowledge, Sunset Pyramid, a Noxious Dragon, let's go, come on, there's a Mythic, boom, Profane Transfusion, not the biggest hitter, but still good, nice little Mythic hit, a Bear Claw, Kessig Trapper, Sky Diamond, yeah, you can't get what you already have, right? <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, I know this might not be uh, very family friendly, but we're having a good time just relaxing here. Wow. Pen and Blade. Vow of Lightning. Strength of the Pack. Hey, Staff of Domination. That's a great rare. Goblin Weapon Weaponsmith and Voice of Crags. A Viscera Seer Foil. That's a great foil as well. 
Vista C is a great uncommon. One of the best sack outlets in the game, especially for one. Not bad at all. It's easily gotten rid of, but either way, it's still not a bad one, you know what I mean? Um, so, oh, Vistra Seer, nice. Alright, Faith's Fetters. Knight, Nadir's Nightblade. A Lore Seeker Stone. Boom, Training Center, nice. Dude, you are hitting some cards, man. The Reverend Median, the Kessig Ranger, the Skilled Animator, wow. Four packs left for you. Four packs. Boom. Been a great stream tonight, guys. I appreciate everybody sticking around and watching. I hope you guys have been having fun. Uh, enjoying watching all this stuff getting opened. Oh, there you go. Command Tower. Nice. Lightning Rig Crew. A Sifter Worm. Merchant Raiders. Flame Kin Herald. Master Smith, Crack the Thumbless, and a Life Cafter's Gift. All right. Wow, nice. Right off the bat, a Preordain. It's a nice common there. All right, let's see. A Fencing Ace Uncommon, Null Caller, Shimmer Mirror, and an Undergrowth Stadium. Holy crap. An all ingesting, sun main familiar, welding. Wow. Typically, you only get three of these lands per box, and you've already got two of them. You already got a mythic. Uh, I'll take, I'll go through these real quick. Silverbergs. Hey, Waddle, welcome to the burn squad. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully, I'm not, uh, saying that incorrectly but thank you for joining the channel we're wrapping up here tonight we've got uh, about a 10 12 packs left for some commander legends and then um, we're gonna call it a night here coastline marauders horizon scholar thought vessel great oh apex devastator mythic wow tormod the desecrator lagoon mystic and an undying rate jeez man you just keep getting hit after hit this is your night, man. We opened up, what, $500 plus in one pack for you. Let's see. Oh, Commander Sphere. Not that that's going to affect the uh, opening at all. Val Wilderness. A Cast Down. Imperious Perfect. And our rares, Keeper of the Accord. Another very solid rare. And a cage of hands. Awesome. All right. We got 10 packs left for these next 10 are going to be for Chuck. Uh, where did I put your cards at? Bro. Never mind. Found them. There we go. Last 10 packs of Commander Legends. Three. Six, eight, ten. Yeah, these have been these. This has been one of the better nights, man. Uh, I mean, hell, we've only been streaming for two nights, but yeah, this is definitely, definitely going to be up there. Out of this will rank one out of two. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can get for Chuck here. Can we get anything good for Charles? He's not here watching yet, is or is he? I don't think he's watched tonight. Boom! Sweet Gum Recluse is his first rare. And a no collar. All right. And I think everybody that got that, that bought something did pretty well. I think everybody got some decent pulls. Um, I don't think anybody got truly, like, hosed or anything. Uh, maybe didn't make a ton of money, but definitely didn't lose any on any of the openings tonight. And then we had some awesome just over-the-top stuff, right? Ordeal of Nylea, a Soul of Eternity, a Kaufner of the Last U, yeah, a $500, I can't believe that, that was just amazing, that was amazing, 
that's the kind of shit that normally happens like when you're not streaming when you're just opening up packs for yourself or something that's when you open something crazy like that um and you just go nuts and you're like shit nobody's gonna believe me because i didn't do it on camera you know Warren of Evos Isle, Guildless Commons, a Dreamstone Hedron with an Amphibian Mutineer. Alright. So, like I said, if we don't sell a ton of packs, if we, op if we sell some packs over the weekend, we'll definitely open them on Monday night. If we don't, um, and if we don't have enough for, you know, a two, three hour stream, no problem. What we'll do is we'll go through some of the commander decks. We'll go, th we'll pick one. And we'll just kind of go through it. We'll uh, dissect it, see what kind of upgrades uh, we, we all agree on and uh, how to make it better and to make it, you know, like a level 5 through 7 type of a deck instead of a level 2 or 3 when it comes out of the box. And slash the ranks rare. Filigree Thrasher. And that's essentially where the channel's going to be, just so for the new followers that aren't a part of the Discord, if you're interested in joining our Discord, uh, please, by all means, we do, we, we have, uh, trades, uh, uh, raffles, all types of stuff that go on in the discord. We've got a buy list. You can access my website. You can access the website through here as well. Um, but tons of stuff happening in the discord as well. We talk about EDH all the time. Cause that's what we play. We play EDH online as well. Uh, we get play groups together all the time and play. So. Arcane Signet, nice, uncommon. Court of Bounty, good rare, nice. And an Arcanum Weaver. Uh oh. We got five packs left. Woo! The Burroughs one is the one that I like the most out of all of them. Whenever I saw the when I saw the general, um, but I'm very much a Golgari, you know, green black player. Um, since there was no green white deck, you know. I guess I had to go with green black. Uh, let's see, nothing really good in there. Return to dusk, good uncommon. Slaughter the strong, another good uncommon. Victimize. Hey, didn't we just have this pack? Boom, a root weaver druid. I think it was the exact same cards. Yeah, an ember claw familiar. Yeah, thorn of the black rose. There was a time this foil, whenever it was only in con con uh, conspiracy two, this foil was like forty bucks. It was outrageous. Uh, the and it was, uh, and the regular card itself was like three or four bucks. I don't know what it goes for now, but obviously considerably cheaper. Um, but it was, it was pretty, uh, pretty wild. Command tower, nice. Oh, come on, let's hit something juicy for Chuck here. A Valve Torment, Furnace Celebration. We're going to slow roll these last couple of packs. Wheel of Misfortune, hey, good three, four dollar rare. Yeah, it normally... Oh, Kadama of the East Tree, another good few dollar card. If Well, the last time I checked, at least. Funny thing is, <laughs> Chuck gets so lucky in these opening videos, Mark has never met the guy, but he even says, the luck of Chuck will always come through. <laughs> and it usually does. All right. Kumbaya Witches. Well, we'll put that down there. Let's see, come on. Zat's Will. All right. The Bounteous Dawn with a True Air. All right. Triple Rare Pack. Not not any amazing out-of-the-park rares, but still a Triple Rare Pack. All right, Chuck. Here you go. Which pack is it going to be? Is it going to be this one or the next one? That gets you the big hit. Which one is it? This one or the next one? Monstrous Onslaught. And... It's a rare hole breacher. There it is. We knew we couldn't keep Chuck down the whole time, right? We knew that would be impossible. Nice. Corrupted observer with a court of grace foil. One of the better courts. Jeez. Told you. All right. Well, there we go. What are we going to pull in this last pack for him? He definitely got his uh, his money's worth already now out of that. That pack alone's nice. I mean, hole breacher's still 20 plus bucks, right? Quarter Grace Foil's got to be in the 5 to $10 range. Nice. Commander Sphere. 
All right, we've got a first response. This is our last pack. Come on, Chuck. Let's see. And of course, it's a mythic. Triumph of Reckoning. Nice. With a Numa as our common, uncommon to end the box. Wow. Very, very nice. Oh, I, I wish if we would have hit a Vampiric Tutor. I mean, we still hit a Mythic. That's awesome. But if we would have Vampiric Tutor there at the end, that would have been crazy good, right? Still great, great packs. Great for everybody. Man, I'm super excited. I want to thank all of you guys for watching tonight. Um, nice two and a half hour stream here. I'm hoping that we can uh, get some more folks involved. Like I said, Monday night, depending on the amount of packs we sell to, between today and over the weekend and everything, we'll definitely be doing some more openings. Uh, but really, thank you all very much. Um, uh, Dean is obviously the big winner tonight with the uh, one pack of $500 worth of cards. So super excited for you. And uh, check out the website if you're interested in, in other packs. Join the Discord. Hit me up if you have any questions about anything. Uh, got the Discord link in here. So, again, thank you guys for, for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys on Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See ya.